Well, there's so many things to unpack here. And Dan Graziano, that yesterday kind of made me look at this a little bit differently. I've thought all along, well, they're just ultimately going to have to trade him. But the point is, if what they're ultimately trading him for is draft capital next year, let, let's even say that at some point along the line, they decide they're going to need to trade him. They're in no rush. The next year's draft is when next year's draft is. It's the end of April. It doesn't make any difference when they make this trade. So maybe on that level, this thing isn't as tilted in Aaron's favor as I've been thinking it is. Dan Graziano, pick up that thought from there. No, obviously it's not. And we talked about this early in this process. The Packers can call his bluff. And if he's willing to sit out games, they can they'll save money on his $14.7 million salary. They can go back and get his $6.8 million roster bonus. They may even be able to, to go and claw back some of his signing bonus. And this is money and cap space that the Packers, frankly, could use. They are projected way over the cap for next year. They don't have Devontae Adams under contract for next year. If, if they feel like they could go with Jordan Love or another option, they can tell Aaron Rodgers, fine, you don't want to play for us? You are now retired, and we will move on without you. That is, in fact, the Packers' leverage. All right, so Ryan Clark, I have not had you for quite some time here, um, and I'm dying to hear your take on this. There are so many angles of this story right now that feel important to you. What's the most important thing? The most important thing is that Aaron Rodgers does have the leverage because for so many years, we've thought of Aaron Rodgers as this great talent. And that's all we talk about. Or maybe this very interesting off the field personality that's extremely intelligent, but it was never really a leader. It was never really a great teammate. And the wide receivers not showing up to OTAs was a big deal to me. And I know to many people, they think, okay, it's just OTAs. And I absolutely believe that for veterans, it's not as impactful or as helpful as people may want to make it seem but the one thing you know if you're a wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers isn't there if Aaron Rodgers is away telling big little lies or if it's a divergent situation or if we are trying to find the faults in our stars then you understand not showing up to OTAs means hold on we're not on the Green Bay Packers side Hold on. We haven't made it a point to show that we will be at practice. We will be on the grass no matter who is quarterbacking for the Green Bay Packers. I think right now the leverage is on Aaron Rodgers' side. He understands that. And that is why he is taking pictures in, in the jungle of fooling around with <laughs> Jungle Cats, his fiance, and other actors. Because Aaron Rodgers knows that he's the guy that's winning this one-on-one -on -one battle right now the same way LeBron was whipping Jay Crowder in the game last night. All right, and so, Bart Scott, let me come to you on that thought. As, as we see this, again, very conveniently, a very private man, Aaron Rodgers, on the same week that his team is going through OTAs, yeah. is suddenly all over social media in a bathing suit. Bart Scott, can't wait to hear what you have to say. Oh, man, I tell you what, when you get in different relationships, you know, you have different requirements. His boo wanted to, want him to let everybody know that he's living his best life. And Aaron Rodgers looks unbothered. He's unbothered. He's like, I got options. I got money. I got career. I can do whatever I want. And what Aaron Rodgers is doing is flexing his muscle. And listen, Diana doesn't understand, you know, from the player perspective, what he's doing. The fact that the receivers didn't show up is their plea to the organization saying that, hey, we, we're united with him. Because they understand without him, their numbers aren't great. They understand without him, they have no chance in winning a Super Bowl. So he has all the leverage. And at some point, you have to decide and understand that he's just not into you anymore. And you're going to have to try to get the best compensation you want. He can show up and pull a hammy. He can show up and not be cooperative. You know, understanding that Devontae Adams is not in, on contract past his future year, he may decide to say, you know what, I'm leaving next year too. And then where are you at as an organization? You, you don't have any future stars. All this homegrown talent that you had is no longer around. They're not on board, and they're going to be skipping town. And it's all because A.A. Ryan said, you know what, we out. I'm taking my ball, I'm leaving, and my homies and my boys are coming with me next year or this year. I don't care. Go ahead, R.C. The one thing we cannot do when speaking of Aaron Rodgers' off-season pictures in his swim trunks is use the phrase flexing his muscle. There was no muscle Ooh. on that picture. It was an ab. I, it, I, saw, I saw an ab. I saw an ab. I saw one ab. Mm -mm. No, don't you do so it. So one ab. <laughs> he was not flexing his muscle. What he Look was doing hey, was so he, he was showing breathing. you He's not breathing that, right there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, sir. Aaron Rodgers was showing us that you don't need to work out. You don't need to hit the gym to be the best wow. player in football. That's what he's showing you. Aaron Rodgers, this was a power move. This was Aaron Rodgers saying, look here, I'm enjoying my life. 
I'm out here living, and everything that you talk about in Green Bay is about me right now. It's about whether or not I'm going to play golf against Tom Brady, whether or not I'm going to host Jeopardy, Jeopardy, or whether or not I'm going to be quarterbacking the team that doesn't have wide receivers to throw to anyway. Jordan Love is in the worst position in football, and that's playing for a team that, did, that shouldn't have drafted him and now playing for a team that players don't want to play for Graziano, I see the look on your face, and, and I wonder if it's the same reason I have mine. The difference between being a professional athlete and not, which is to say, I look at that picture of Aaron Rodgers and think, if I was built like that, I wouldn't own a shirt. I, would, I wouldn't ever put a shirt on, <laughs> and RC is looking at it, and he's unimpressed. I so I, I don't even know what to tell you. Dan Graziano, what? That's not what I was D, thinking that's sure. about at all. Uh, but, uh, but what I was thinking about listening to Ryan Clark is like, do you really think Alan Lazard on his one-year $800,000 contract is going to sit out minicamp and training camp like in solidarity with Aaron Rodgers? I didn't say, like, I, I didn't, at some point, I didn't these guys that, are going to come back. I didn't say that. So what will so, happen, so, RC? That so is a good point. So what is the leverage there? How far do those guys take it? How far do these receivers go with him? No, listen, listen, this is obviously when receivers get to make these decisions to come to training camp, it's about them individually. I believe they understood the power play that this was, but also Aaron Rodgers understands it. And this is not necessarily let's get on the phone and figure out, you know, how, how you guys are going to stay home. But think about the power that starting quarterbacks have, the Drew Breeses of the world, the Tom Brady's. They can call dudes in the offseason on off weeks when they're not supposed to be at OTAs, not supposed to be practicing, and make them fly across the country to do involuntary workouts at a quarterback's home. And so for these guys to say that I'm not going to OTAs to practice with Jordan Love, I'm not going to let you see what this kid has when he has good wide receivers on the field, that's a big deal to me. And no, Alan Lazard's not going to stay home when the season starts, but staying home now makes the Green Bay Packers start to ponder a decision of whether or not Aaron Rodgers should be on this roster at the beginning of the season.